Airbnb stock recently IPO'd, and their company CEO, Brian Chesky, came out and spoke on their IPO price, and from what he said, it seems like he thinks the company is extremely overvalued. Shares indicated to open right now at $139 a share, which is more than double what you priced at. I mean, are you at all concerned about froth? What do you think about that number and the potential uh, that you're leaving billions of dollars on the table? That's the first time I've heard that number. Um, that is, that's a, I, you know, when we, in April, we raised money, um, and it was a debt financing, it, 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 that price would have priced us around 30 bucks. So I, I don't know what else to say. It, it's that, that's a, that's a, that's a very, that, that's, um, that is, yeah, I'm very humbled by it. And as an investor, that is not what I want to hear from the CEO of a company that just IPO'd. So in today's video, I'm first going to break down exactly what he said in this interview in the stock IPO price. After that, we're going to go over some opportunities that Airbnb has to grow significantly in the next couple of months and the next couple of years. At the end, we're going to go over some challenges that they face that could hurt the stock price. And finally, we're going to go over a price target for the company where I see going in the next couple of years from now and if it's a good buy. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michael. I'm a 21-year-old investor, entrepreneur, and full-time college student. In the past 30 days, I've made close to $175,000 in one of the many investment accounts I share with you in our private group on Patreon. So if you'd like to know more about what stocks I'm buying, what stocks I'm selling in my personal investment accounts, you want exclusive content that I don't share here on YouTube, and if you want pre-access to my podcast called The Stock Room with my 80-year-old investor friend, well then make sure to join our group using the link down below. Anyways, let's talk about Airbnb and their IPO price. Currently, many experts are saying to not buy the hype with all the IPOs that recently happened with Airbnb, DoorDash, and the number of other IPOs that recently skyrocketed from where they are set to IPO. Many analysts are currently saying that Airbnb has a lot of potential moving forward. However, it does face some challenges. Currently, as travel options dried up, booking values fell almost 40% in the first nine months of the year for Airbnb compared to the same period of last year. Overall, the company lost $697 million up to September 30th, 2020, compared with $323 million at the same point last year. Still, during that period of time in the first part of this year, they brought in $2.5 billion dollars in revenue. So there are potentials for buying the company right now, and there are some good reasons. Some of the good reasons to buy Airbnb right now is if you're betting on travel rebounding, a vaccine getting developed, people wanting to travel more. The UK became the first country in the world to start using the vaccines on people. And if this goes well, if more vaccines get rolled out, well then Airbnb will continue to grow because many people are choosing Airbnbs over hotels because it's single family households, single rooms, and they feel safer. They feel that it's cleaner to go to Airbnbs than a hotel where there could be hundreds of other people. In addition to this, one thing I really like about Airbnb is their global diversification. Airbnb is located all across the globe, and this is something that many hotels don't have. So Airbnb generates 63% of its revenue outside of the U.S., which is huge, especially during a time like right now when some countries are open, states reopen, or some are shut down. We don't know what's going to reopen, what's going to shut down, so being diversified across a number of different countries and having a majority of its revenue outside of the U.S. will be especially helpful moving forward because depending on what countries open it up, what countries close, they can still generate revenue from countries that are opening up and doing better, even if other countries fall back and they start to see a rise in the number of cases. So that's something I really like about them. However, reasons that you may not want to invest in the company and things you have to think about moving forward is that the company does have losses. Like many startups, Airbnb is focused on growth over profitability and where their stock price is currently at close to $135 to $145 per share, it's valuing the company at over $85 billion. So that means they should be generating billions and billions of dollars in revenue, if not now, in the future. And a lot of people talk about startups, it's okay if they lose money. 
And I agree, as long as they're losing money and they're growing rapidly, that's okay. But at some point, if you're valued at $85 billion, you need to be generating significant amount of revenue every single year, and you need to actually be profitable. So they don't need to do it right now, but we're going to need to see great numbers as the economy starts to open back up, people start to travel again. If not, we're going to see their stock price drop significantly. And from the interview with their CEO, Brian Chesky, he says that moving forward, their main focus is going to be on health and safety. Well, the most important thing is health and safety, obviously. You know, we've had to make difficult decisions. For example, in April, we um, decided um, to give refunds to more than a billion dollars worth of customer deposits when people told us they couldn't travel. And this, of course, was really difficult for our host. And even though we were burning a lot of money, we took $250 million of our own balance sheet when it wasn't clear we could raise more money back then and gave it to our host. And, you know, we always are going to make that our gold standard. So we worked with the former Surgeon General of the United States, Dr. Vivek Murthy, who now co-chairs the COVID task force, and we've instituted enhanced cleaning protocols. And we're just trying to work with every city and every government as best as we can to make sure that when people do travel, it's responsible. So as you can see, they did face a number of challenges this year alone. They had to give over $1 billion in refunds to customers. They're going to be focusing a lot on health and safety moving forward. So it's not just a clear path, even if a vaccine is developed, it's still going to be difficult for them to generate significant amount of revenue like investors are expecting them to. And finally, the last thing that anyone invested in Airbnb needs to be aware of is legal issues. So Airbnb has had no a number of legal issues in the past, and it's not going to get any easier on that front for them. Issues range from the difficulty of living next to an ever-changing stream of guests to the perception that short-term rentals increase local prices. One thing that happened recently was that in San Francisco, they introduced laws limiting the number of nights hosts could rent their properties out there. After this happened, Airbnb saw the number of listings available plummet in the city. So if regulations like that happen in other cities across the U.S. or across the world, well, then Airbnb is going to struggle a lot. Just something to keep an eye out for moving forward. Right now, Airbnb is priced at the $135 to $140 per share. In my opinion, I wouldn't invest at it at this point in time just because even from what Brian Chesky, the CEO of Airbnb, said, he was absolutely shocked by the company's stock price. And for me, that's not a good sign because the CEO of the company should be the most optimistic and believe the company is worth the most versus any investor out there. He should be the most confident in his company and what they are planning to do moving forward. And because of his reaction, I just don't think it is a good time to invest right now. Even if he did have a great reaction to it, still right now, at a market cap of over $85 billion. It's just way too expensive for me right now. If they're down in the $90 range or below that $90 range, I would definitely consider getting in. But right now, it just seems like it's too expensive. Long term, I think they'll be fine. But just keep an eye out right now for what the company's doing as the coronavirus progresses and what happens there. But anyways, that's what's going on with Airbnb, their IPO, and what CEO Brian Chesky had to say. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your four free stocks, each valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull Investing app using the link down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.